Alright, hey guys, yours truly Zalman here, and what's going on? And it is relatively late at night, 11.35 Central Standard Time to be exact. And I just decided to make this commentary. This is going to be King of the Hill 2, obviously, Team Fortress 2. And uh, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm probably going to be calling it It's Not I Don't Use Fault or Infinity War. So, it is quite obvious that I will be talking about the fault of MW2, Modern Warfare 2, and whose fault it really was. And it is clear that my opinion is that it is not, in fact, Infinity War's fault. That MW2 was such a flop, not in terms of sales, not by, by no means sales. Uh, Call of Duty is the biggest entertainment franchise in the world. MW2 had the biggest entertainment range of all time. I really don't know the stats because I'm too lazy to pull up the, uh, the stuff right now. But I think the main problem is that Activision and Codex started to get, Bobby Codex who's the head of Activision, he started to get too greedy. And they started to get too greedy from the success of COD4 and the relative success compared to COD4 of World at War. Now, the first thing I want to say is that Activision refused to have a beta, and they rushed it out to market. COD4 and World at War both had betas. They both had time to fix all their glitches. Now, obviously, not all of their glitches. Call of Duty 4, I suppose you could say, with its glitching to get on top of buildings, and obviously, World at War with its um, under map stuff. But, um, yeah. So, Activision refused to have a beta, and I think that really suffered the game. They also rushed it out to market. The, the absolute, the absolute small, and you see I speeded up the, I sped up the death there. Uh, the most glaring issue at launch of MW2, and this is a really funny kill, uh, the rocket I fire after I kill, I think it was a scout, it was a crit rocket, which for those who don't know is a critical rocket, and you can tell by the fact that it's glowing. But they rushed it out to market, and the most glaring problem with it is the was the party system at first. If you put together a full party, you couldn't get into a match for a... I'm just going to say a good amount of time, that's really as far as I'm going to go. Activision rushed it out to market, and it was very clear. The second thing is, they didn't want to change what apparently wasn't working. Or, I'm not sure if I've got that right. And you can see right here, this is not me playing. I ha Halfway through rounds, I asked my friend, who's an absolute beast at TF2 to play. I asked him not to camp here, but, you know, what are you going to do? But they tried not to fix what was working, I suppose you could say, when in fact it was very, very broken. A few things, I'm sorry, a few things that I can name problems with MW2 right now. Let's see, Commando, which could have been fixed in the beta. Only Danger Close Noob 2, which also could have been fixed in the beta. And just the overall brokenness and glitchiness, spawn system, stuff like that, that could have been fixed in the beta. And it's also, obviously, they didn't have a beta, so they didn't want to fix was what was still working for them, because apparently they didn't want to put the money into creating a, a, a workable patch. And you can see, he, my, my friend, his name is, uh, I'll, I'll just call him Detri for now, but uh, he blows himself up, he dismembers himself to kill another guy. But they, they just they didn't want to fix what wasn't broken, and their game suffered because of it. Second thing I want to talk about is that I have absolutely no idea why people blame Infinity Ward for the price of the map packs. That is all completely Activision, and 402 Robert Bowling, Stealth Clown, whatever you want to call him. He even said that the pricing strategies were in Activision, and here's, there's going to be a giant fail coming up. 
pretty soon. It might have already happened. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think so. Oh yes. No. No, this is new. But they overpriced the map packs, and they're greedy. And the reason the map packs are overpriced is because they know people are going to pay for it, and they're putting even more money into their pocket, which they don't need. It was a multi-billion-dollar launch. They made a billion dollars off the game, the franchise, and it's just—it's too bad how a corrupt developer can ruin such a potentially fantastic game. If you look at Modern Warfare 2. Just take out a few critical flaws, and no, I'm not trying to make it a reference to uh, the show of Machinima, but it's uh, the critical flaws, Commando, One Man Army, Danger Close, Nuketube's not taking up the first slot, Woody's Gamertag, my first video I posted on my channel was Woody's Gamertag's message out to, oh, here's the triple fail I was telling you about. And he gets killed by none other than Gladys. Woody's gamer tag. It went. The video went viral. It went viral on Twitter. That Activision did not want to listen. I know for a fact that Robert Bowling listens to the community because of the comments he posted on the video about a month. I want to say about a month back. But he's saying that he's pushing for these fixes, but he's he can't make the decision and. Why people blame it on him? Oh, here he gets, coming up he gets a one-shot headshot on him. Here on the heavy, pretty awesome. But it's not Robert Bowling's fault. He's not even that high up in the company. He's a creative strategist. He pitches ideas as to how he thinks the game is going to be good. And just right here, yeah, I'm checking time. I've got about a minute left. But it's it's just it, it's not his fault. It's not Infinity War's fault. Activision got greedy. They didn't want to fix their game and make sure it was perfect. They made it newbie because if they made it newbie and more to the casual gamer, then it would and more, more people would buy it and more people would keep playing it because more people could do well. And people who don't want to play with the BS of MW2 Commando, One Man Army, stuff like that. They're the ones who suffer. And it's just not fair. It's just not fair. My name is Zalman. This has been a Team Fortress 2 gameplay. Have a good day.